Hi. Oh, I've had a few days off without any work, which has kind of been good actually. So I'm back onto a love job for a friend. I've been doing a bit here on and off as time allows. It's pretty easy to make friends when you live in a rocky area apparently. But he's got a few big rocks here that uh, are just oversized and too big to move. So uh, as time permits, I'm going to break them down for him and uh, might use him in a bit of wall building or landscaping or something. I don't know what the plan is yet, but there's a few here. Um, I'm just going to drill them and use an expanding chemical cracking agent because I can. No blasting on these. Just pop some 38 mil holes in. Oh, that one's not 38, it's about 37 or 36, but that'll do. And uh, drill and fill. And uh, come back in a day or two and see what happens. I might actually try and do a time lapse on this because I can. I can set the camera up in the friend's backyard and leave it. Although it's going to rain later, so. Uh, might have to protect it a bit. All right, see you soon. Well, got some holes in this one. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine holes, 38 mil diameter. None of the holes went through the bottom of the rock, which is a good start. Uh, I don't think I will fill them with a cracking goo today because it's about to rain quite a bit. And that's not good for cameras, um, time-lapse cameras. So I'm just gonna drill another one of the rocks up there before it rains. So there wasn't actually that. So the uh, temperature range of the product I'm using today is um, maximum 15 degrees Celsius, and uh, that's SCA3, which is the lowest temperature um, grade of the goo we can get. It's not 15 degrees yet, but it's, you know, I don't know what the temperature of the rock is. I can't measure it just now. Me. Uh, of a little electronic thermometers packed up like so many things so I've got ice in the water that I'll be mixing with and uh, that gives me a, a bit of a hedge against uh, over temperature and um, going off too quickly because if it goes off too quickly you get a steam explosion and the whole lot of the goo just ejects out of the hole with a big bang and your rock doesn't break and it's a very expensive uh, failure so uh, I'll just stir this up a bit more. That should be nice and cold. I'll grab my little sieve. Where is it? Hang on. Okay, got my sieve. And I'll sieve out the ice because we don't want the ice in the mix or might even block the hole if it was to go down the hole. Don't want that. There we 
go. All right, so I'm mixing 10 kilos of goo. I want three kilos, sorry. Yeah, 10 kilos of goo, I want three liters of water. Oh, it's cold. 500. It's one liter. One and a half. Two. Two and a half. Three liters. All right. Uh, I'll shove my mask on. I always wear a full face mask when I'm mixing this stuff up because it's um, extremely alkaline and if you get the powder in your eyes or your lungs or it splashes in your eyes, you're in a fair bit of strife. So I fully recommend you use a full face respirator uh, when mixing this stuff. Um, paper masks, not much chop, don't even bother. Uh, some sort of eye protection and a, and a respiratory protection device that works. Cheers, hang on. a bit of a mix. shift the camera and we'll fill the holes. Whoops, too much.
20 past 11 in the morning uh, all my holes are successfully filled there's uh, nine holes in this rock most of them are 500 mil deep uh, these ones down here are a bit shallower so I didn't go through the bottom of the rock we'll uh, just set up the time-lapse cameras on this now and uh, just leave it and see what happens I think I know what will happen well Either the rock's going to break or it's going to go off too quickly and we're going to have a steam ejection out of the hole. Hopefully not. Twenty-four hours have passed now. The rock is starting to yield. This corner's sort of really cracking up good. Um, not much action in the rest of the rock yet. Some holes haven't cracked at all. I'm not surprised though. It seems to have cracked along existing defect lines in the rock, which is pretty much what I expected. I can actually hear it creaking as I've been standing here looking. Now this big crack here was like an existing defect in the rock where it's uh, found a weakness and opened up. So I expect from uh, this time on it'll really start speeding up a bit. So there's the results, friends. She's all broken up. About uh, about a week has passed now since I uh, poured the goo in these holes. And it was slow because the weather's extremely cold. And um, just stuff like every chemical reaction slows down in the cold weather. But it's done its job. This is the hardest rock that I normally come across. It's Rio Dosite. There's nothing harder around here. So I think it's um, pretty remarkable. Thanks for watching.